What is the solution to x to the third power equals 27 thousandths, 27 over 1,000? That means you've got to find what x would equal to. So what times what times what is 27, okay? We'll just look at the 27 first. Is it 1 times 1 times 1? That's what to the third power means. No. That's 8, okay? That's 27. So x is going to have a 3 in the numerator. Now, this is going to get really frustrating, you know, because I have to get the 1,000 on the bottom. So we do with a, a third power is we cross it out, and we put a radical on the other side, and it's going to be a cube root. Now, x has to equal a fraction, but now we're in a good position to find the cube root of 27 and the cube root of 1,000. It's not the square root. It's a cube root. Okay, we put a radical, we put a 3 in the index. So how I figure that out, I'm figuring out what times, this means what times what times what is 27, and what times what times what is 1,000. Okay. So we already know that 27 is 3, but what about 1,000? Well, here's what you can do. You can type in 3 because of the cube root. See that 3? And then you click second, but we don't click X to the second. We click the key above the X to the second, the caret button. Okay, And what I just entered in there means a cube root of 27, and that's 3. So 3 is on top. And then we do the same thing with 1,000. Okay, So 3, second, caret. No, I hit the wrong key. 3, second, and the caret key, 1,000. I got 10, so x would equal 3 tenths. <clears throat> okay, next problem. x to the second power equals 9 hundredths. Okay, now it's just to the second power. This, so a lot of you could solve mentally here. What times itself would equal 9? It'd be 3. What times itself would equal 100? Well, that would be 10 for some of you that know your multiplication tables. The answer is 3 tenths. But to get it, with the mechanical way, we can take the square off the x second. It's a 2. Now it's a square root. Okay, So the square root of 9, so 2 second, and then the caret key 9 gives me 3. Makes sense. 3 times itself is 9. And then what times itself would be 100? Well, 2 second caret. Okay? Just like that. That's exactly how it should look. 2 second caret and then enter in 100, and that's 10, so that's going to be 3 tenths. Okay, what's the solution to x in the to, solution to x to the third equals 64, 729? So you're finding your answer for x. So I take out the third power, and then it goes over here as a cube root. So now we're back to cube roots. So what times what? The, the, the top answer is not 8, okay? That would be true if it was a square root, but it's a cube root. Remember, cube roots are what times what times what would equal 64, the same factor, okay? So 3 second, and then you hit the caret button. When you want to do a cube root, it's got to be 3 second caret, not 3 second x squared, okay? We'll put a 64 in there. That's 4. Okay. And then we'll do the cube root of 729. So we'll go 3 second caret 729. And that's going to give me 9. So the answer to this is 4 ninths. Okay. Now the reason why it's 4 ninths is because if I take 4 times 4 times 4, I get 64, which is what I started with. And if I take 9 times 9 times 9, it gives me 729, okay? So then 4 ninths to the third power would be 64 729ths, okay?